Good morning, Sharon. Hi. Today is Wednesday, January 9th. It is a day A. Welcome to Eagle News. Great news. The Eagle Block Writing Center is reopening next Monday, January 13th in room 402. If you need any help writing upcoming essays or finishing up lab reports, our trained student tutors would be more than happy to give you some advice, help you edit, and work through any issues you are facing. Our signups and schedule can be found on the SHS website under student and parent resources. Keep an eye out for our flyers and check in with your English teachers or see Ms. Smaller, Smaller in room 111 with any questions. Mrs. Cole's after school program will meet today, Thursday, January 9th in room 310. And now in sports, wrestling yesterday defeated Canton by a score of 49 to 30. Wrestlers Adam Lansing, Amit Levin, Vinay Chinnam, and Max Posner all earned pins in their matches. The wrestling team next sees action this weekend at the Peckham Tournament in Canton. The boys ice hockey team lost to Dedham yesterday. They next face they next take on Norwood at the Rodman Ice Arena on Saturday. Earlier this year, several SHS students traveled to Spain as a part of a cultural enchant. Here's more on their trip. During Thanksgiving break, 20 students accompanied by Senora May and Senor Berca traveled to Spain for this year's Spanish exchange program. They immersed themselves in the culture and felt what it was like living in a genuine Spanish household in Las Rosas de Madrid. It was definitely difficult at times, especially communicating with my host person's parents um, because they don't really speak as much English. But it was also really great to be able to kind of live that culture with them. For two days, the Sharon High students followed their exchange student to school and experienced what a day it was like at Colegios Logos. Every subject has, rather has, a, has its own workbook and, and textbook that the, that the teachers work out of. Uh, they're very uh, rigorous and very uh, regimented. Um, each lesson is very well defined, as opposed to here where you, have a, you, you, do have, you, often, you often have different teachers teaching uh, the same material, different styles, um, and you have, a, you have a lot more flexibility and freedom, I think, in, in, in the stuff that we're teaching. During the other three days of the school week, the Sharon High students traveled as a group to Segovia, Toledo, and Madrid. They were accompanied by a tour guide, giving them the ability to have a better understanding of what they were seeing and the history behind it. Mr. Berka, the other chaperone, and I went to Avila, which is just a little outside of um, Madrid, and it had the most impact on me because I had never been there, and I just enjoy seeing new places that I have never been. And it's a really historical city with a beautiful wall that you can climb and see awesome views from up there. I liked the people there most because all of them that we met were just so amazing and we became really close with them over such a short amount of time. And so yeah, I'm really excited for them to come back. Every student claims that this was the best experience of their life and they are so glad that they decided to take this opportunity and travel overseas with their peers, making new friends and taking back a bit of Spanish culture with them. And that's it for today's announcements. Have a great day, Sharon High. Wow.